Hello everyone, welcome again and today I want to show you another project in Spring Boot and uh, it's library management system. So let me run the code. Okay, uh, before it's, it's a boot, so we have to um, run the server first, then we'll enter the URL and then we'll start the demo. So before uh, starting the demo, let's uh, talk about the technology that we are using in this project. We are using Spring Boot uh, for the server side. For the front end, it's using JSP and layouts. <coughs> also, to manage the backend, to manage the transaction of backend, it's using Hibernate, and to store the data into the database, it's using MySQL. So you can see here, I'm using MySQL Workbench, and if we check the database for library management system, these are the tables, and let's check the user table here. So in the user table, we have uh, two roles. The first one will be an admin, or you can say the librarian, and the second will be the uh, second role a user will be the uh, student, or you can say the end user. So you can see in the role ID column, we have a, uh, again we have a uh, role ID one and two. So two will be same for all the users, and one will be same for the all the admins. So it's the way we are differentiating between the users type in the application. So okay other things to deploy the application we are using tomcat server and uh, uh, maven project like maven dependency to manage the dependency of the project also it's using mbc architecture to achieve the industry standards so it's uh, like combined application or uh, that is using all the standards that industry will use uh, to develop it spring boot or java projects okay so here is my start file and I'm going to run it as in my boot server and so you can see we are just enabling our server uh, with this application so my tomcat server is going to start now uh, under the application of property we have this URL that we need to access up once the server is run successfully okay okay so let's wait until the server is going to run and if you need the source code of this project and if you you can check the link in the description box you will get all the details you can contact us over the gmail whatsapp and uh, like skype so our team will uh, respond you and we will connect and uh, we will share the source code with you also we have services to run the project at your machine so we remotely our team will connect by zoom or NES or you can say by google meet to help you to run this project and configure this project at your machine also we have services to explain the source code so in case you are preparing for the interview you are preparing for the viva and you want to learn this entire things like how the internal code is working you can contact us okay uh, also if you want to learn those things from the scratch you can contact us easily well discuss and share the detail with you thank you so now uh, let's come to the point and run it again so let's say I'm gonna run is the complete new instance here so now you can check the server is started and actually my server is running the port number 8080 my local host server is running on the 8080 so after 8080 I just need to put this URL so let's say localhost 8080 and after this I need to enter this URL when I hit the URL, the welcome page will come. It's a simple welcome page, and there is a slider, and uh, it will change the images automatically. Okay, at the very first, we have two options here sign in and sign up. So, let's say as a new user, I'm going to sign up in the application and then we'll see how can a new user can perform. Then, we'll see how can an admin can perform, what operations admin can perform in the application. So let's say demo user and let's say email id is demo at the rate gmail.com and enter the password demo at the rate 123 demo at the rate 123 it's demo at the rate 123 again we are using the same email id here and need 10 digit valid phone number and enter the date so make sure you are entering the date in this format and let's choose an image so let's see i'm going to use any dummy image that i have already in my database so i'm going to use this one 
So you can choose any relevant image that will be good. So I'm using these images for the demo purpose. Okay, the user is registered successfully. Now if I refresh the database for this user, you can see the new entry in the database. Now let's log in with this user and what this user can perform. But now it's a new user, he can't perform anything because it doesn't see any data there. Okay, so to get the username password, uh, you have to check the database table and you can see here we have a login ID and here is the password. So let's say I'm gonna log in with this user and after performing some admin operation, we'll again log in with this user. Okay, I logged in here. And now you can check the books as a user so these are the available books in the database and issue book but nothing new record is not found because uh, as an admin or librarian we didn't assign any book to this particular user till now okay we'll assign and then we'll check also under the books option he can check all the available books in the library so he can request to the librarian to book that uh, assign that particular book as well also, we have a search option here by name. You can search by name and search by book code and all the things. But user doesn't have any authority to delete or edit this book details. Okay, let's log out it and now uh, log in as an admin. So for the admin, admin123 will be my uh, username and admin at the rate 123 is my password. So if you notice one thing here in the table, you can see as we added the new record in the database, it's come with role ID 2 because it's user. Okay, so the user 1, uh, role ID 1 always will be for the admin and uh, like uh, role ID 2 will be always for the end user. Okay, now let's log in and check user list. The first module for the admin is the user list. Also, you can check the user list. This user that be recently added in the database now this user have a library code which is generated automatically so let's say for this user we have a library code double six double five okay now under the book section we have add book and we have book list and issue the book list whatever the book we have issued till now so you can library you can check the detail Let's say as an admin or librarian, I'm going to add a book into the database. So for example, I need to enter the code for this book. So I enter 8008, enter the name. So I say book name, enter the writer name. So I say writer name and enter the status. You can say it's new, choose an image. So we need to choose an image for the book. So I'm using again the dummy image enter some description click on the save the book saved successfully now under the book list if i check i have this book now with uh, book code 8008 also now as an admin i have an option to edit it i have an option to delete it okay um, now another option the main option we have to issue the book okay uh, also we have option to search by name if we did record reaches more than uh, like 10 then uh, if you want to search option implement the search option you want to search it you can search book by name and by the book code uh, okay let's focus the main module and issue a book to that newly added user so now if i click on the issue book it will ask me to student library code so as you remember we have library code for every user so we recently added this user and for this user we have library code as a double six double five so i'm going to use this same library code here and issue date so let's say i'm going to enter today's date and a return date should be uh, three or four let's say four i click on the save the book is issue that particular user now if we check issue book list the entry is there and it's showing now okay now now login as a user again and check that book is issued or not so i'm um, just go login with that user and click here and you can see now it's not showing the no record found error uh, message is showing the valid entry in the database 
uh, like in the application from the database so this is the complete demo of the library management it's a small project but it's cover all the crude operation all the functionalities or main aim to teach you all it's some kind of project that cover all the uh, functionality like it's using image uploading it's using downloading it's using searching operation it's updating the data in the database it's deleting the data it's uh, performing all kind of crude operations so this will be good for your interview preparation or if you are preparing for a viva or you are going to arrange uh, an interview so this will be your good project so okay uh, so now if you need this just contact us over the gmail or uh, skype or whatsapp the team will respond you back and thank you so much for watching uh, this is the demo all um, like complete demo of the library management system in spring boot thank you